made it, or I landed last night. I landed in Dallas. Um, I have 30 hours here. So now it's way less because I slept so much. It's like 1 p.m., 2 p.m. in the East Coast. But I got dressed and everything. I'm ready to go rocking this black tee or black tank top with these Elwood pants. And then I just have this Elwood hoodie. It is 55 degrees here and raining. I wanted to hop on here really quick before we went out. Last night um, when I was just getting here, I don't know if you guys knew, but I was seeing a friend in Texas and um, this is the first time I've been to Texas since we are not friends anymore. It just hurt so, so, so much. Last night when I got here, I was like, man, I miss this person. I think I still did the right thing in removing this person from my life because I just knew when someone makes you feel unsafe in any way, I think that should be like the like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be scared of a friend. I was in Trader Joe's, and around the time when I was debating ending this friendship, and I was just like a mess, and the Trader Joe's lady, I was just like, I'm so sorry um, to the cashier. I was just like, I'm so sorry. I'm just dealing with a toxic friend. And she, her response was, if they're toxic, why are they a friend? And it just hit me with everything in me to be like, wow, this person should not should not be in your life anymore if they're going to be toxic like this. And I think, I just, I, I don't know, I, it hurts. I'm hoping that we both find the right people in our lives um, to replace each other, and I'm not in the exact same way, but you know, find good relationships in our lives, and I hope the same for you, because I feel like that's, it, it's so hard. but you gotta love you and you gotta come first. Um, and so that's just been what I've been dealing with. I've been, I just was so, so, so sad last night because it was my first time in Texas since that. And, and I just think of like, oh, it'd be so cool to hang out with him or it'd be so cool to like, you know, he would take me all the spots or have let him know I was gonna be in Dallas or all that. So um, it hurts, but um, we are gonna still have a good time. I'm going to La La Land Cafe. I do have some, New, some a friend actually waiting um, for me right now, so I'm going to head downstairs. We just want all the Texas vibes. La La Land, La La Kind Cafe, La La Land Kind Cafe, and um, that was near Uptown. We walked through Uptown, and there's also this neighborhood, it's like a, a gay neighborhood um, called Oak Lawn, and so we went there, um, went into this lesbian bar. It was pretty cool, um, honestly a nice space. They had this live, what would it be, that game that you throw, a, like beer pong. And, but they had life-size red things, so it's very, very cool. Now we are getting ready to head to Terry Black, Terry's Black Barbecue. This is an Austin joint. I love Austin, if you don't know. Um, Austin just holds a really special, special place in my heart. And I want to get something more Dallas, but apparently, the person I'm with, uh, we were talking, it seems like that's the best place. And even the Uber driver was like, you need to go to Terry Black. So I guess that's where we are going. Um, I don't know if I've shared this. Last night I was drinking the Olipop Crisp Apple, it is so good. It's like having sparkling cider with only 10% added sugar. And I think it probably has like total, like it's five grams, which is high for Olipop. 
um, they try to make their drinks with like three, even two grams of sugar, I believe. Look at the temperature in Dallas, Texas, 49 degrees right now. I think it was a little bit warmer earlier. It's just getting colder and colder throughout the night. It was raining and misting, so that was difficult too, but I'm gonna go add on some layers. Yeah, it's just really shocking. When you come from New York, you go to Texas, you're so excited for the warm weather, and then it's freezing. <laughs> Terry Black's barbecue. It was a good, it was good dinner. The meat is not, honestly, I don't, this probably like sounds awful to anyone from Texas, but I don't get the hype over the meat. The sides, the cream corn was incredible. I'm so grateful I took the risk. I've had cream corn like rarely in my life. And so I was like, I don't even remember how that tastes. I'm kind of scared. Was the best thing I had. Um, the Macaroni was good too. Very different from what macaroni I like or like love that my family makes that I had for Thanksgiving, but um, that was really good. Oh, and Thanksgiving just passed. I just wanna say I'm grateful for you guys, truly. Um, I haven't had a chance to really, I haven't grown this audience enough to where I feel a, a connection or anything. I don't. I know there are a few people that watch, but other than that, so it's just kinda like weird, but I am grateful if you watch my videos, truly. Thank you. And if you did not get to spend the holiday with anyone you love or just doing something you love, or if it was just a hard holiday, I know the holidays are just hard on people sometimes. So I just wanted to send some extra love and empathy to you. Um, and if you did get to spend it with the family and friends and loved ones and all that, I'm happy for you. That's awesome. Um, or just with people you like or in a place you like or anything that was good. That was awesome. Um, I personally, I didn't even share this. I spent Thanksgiving with my mom. It was really small. I was flying and um, got in early that morning and then spent the whole day at home. And then the next day I started this trip. So, um, but this is my last trip before I think I officially share what I'm doing with all this flying and traveling. So this is exciting. <laughs> um, this is also my last trip before I have, I, I'm gonna try to take two weeks off of Gosh, it's hard to explain, but I'm basically taking two weeks of a break from all my layovers and stuff. I might go see some friends, but um, I'm gonna try to take two weeks off um, of this stuff. So that's nice. I'm very, very happy um, about that because I really just need a break. I need to put my suitcase away and just sit at home. I was talking with this girl today and she was just like, it sounds like I'm blaming myself. Like it sounds like any issue I have with people I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like there's an inherent wrong with me. And I, when she said that, I was just like, thank you for saying that because I so often do blame myself. And she was like, that is a very bad spiral to go down. And basically what she said was like, why, do you, why don't you think of it like you're a fish, one fish goes into a pond, another fish placed into that pond, like two fish are just placed fishes, fish, fish eye. Two fish are placed into a pond or in a fish bowl. And instead of thinking, oh, that fish is wrong, I'm the wrong fish, you should just think like these two fish are having to navigate interacting with each other and, and the situation. And maybe it's not that you're wrong, it's just just this, just it. It's maybe that you're not a wrong fit or something, because I was saying like, oh, I'm such a misfit. And I, I like calling myself that because I think it's true in some sense, but then at the same time, if you're a misfit in every single place, like, <laughs> you're probably not, there's nothing wrong with you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so she was just like, what if it's a situation? What if it's just navigating that? What if it's just like, learning what, learning that? That really helped. That was pretty cool, but thank you so much for spending this uh, little Dallas trip with me. Dallas, uh, I will say too, Dallas doesn't feel like, it feels like the South. It doesn't feel like Texas. It reminded me a lot of Raleigh, 
North Carolina, not of Austin. I mean, I've been to Austin so many times, you guys know. It didn't remind me of Austin at all. I don't know, like, I didn't get to see too much more of downtown. I went to Uptown, went to Deep Ellum. Didn't remind me of Austin. I mean, maybe a little bit. I want to go to the Domain again. That's where I really want to go. I want to go back to Austin and uh, maybe visit a friend that I do have in Austin still that I'm still friends with because he's incredible. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I appreciate you. Happy holidays. And I will see you in the next one. The end of the year into next year is shaping up to be pretty wild for me. So we will see how it goes. Um, I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for being here. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Ooh, really, really quick. You all know how I went to that La La Kind Cafe. First off, if you ever go there, ask for a bag. Buy something and ask for, say I want a bag. Maybe not a latte, maybe buy something, like a, I don't know, something to go. They also have hats. The hats were so cute, but they were like $39.99 and I was just like, cannot justify that. <laughs> is, there not, is there not a Black Friday sale? Look what I got. It is chai overnight oats. Comes with chai, rolled, ooh, I've been zooming in. I didn't mean to do that. Rolled oats, a dash of maple and bananas, and it has this cute little cap. It's a nice jar. These were so, like, $5. I'm so excited because I love chai and I love oatmeal, so I'm thinking it'll be really, really, really good, and I'm excited for it. Um, I gotta drink it or eat it really, really soon, but I'm very excited to have this. It's a little treat for my very last layover before my break.